I'm here to refute the claim that solar power is more efficient than wind power. I'd like to prove that wind power is more efficient by refuting some of my classmates' points. He sought to prove his argument through the claims that solar power is more reliable than wind power, more cost efficient, and has a more prominent future. I'd like to talk about the negative effects of solar power on the environment first, before continuing on to respond to the cost effectiveness and future of wind power. First, although it is true that on average the solar panel requires less maintenance than the wind turbine, huge amounts of fossil fuels are used to manufacture these panels. There are a number of toxic materials that are used to produce these, including but not limited to mercury, chromium, and polysilicon. These toxic materials are expensive to recycle properly, not unlike nuclear waste. According to the Los Angeles, China has become the hotbed for manufacturing solar panels. 20 polysilicon plants have popped up in the last year. They are set to manufacture twice the amount of polysilicon currently produced in the world today. The fields of eastern, eastern Henan province have been covered by the white powdery waste of silicon tetrachloride. According to Professor Bing Yan at Hebei University, the land where you dump it or bury it will be infertile. No grass or trees will grow in its place. It is like dynamite. It is poisonous. It is polluting. Human beings can never touch it. For every one ton of polysilicon produced, four tons of silicon tetrachloride are produced. Although it is possible for these materials to be recycled properly, companies are simply disposing of them because it cuts down on 75% of their manufacturing costs. With the booming demand of solar panels in the last few years, these companies are scrambling to produce as many as possible as fast as possible and as cheap as possible. New coalitions will have to come to the forefront of keeping these companies environmentally responsible. Not only does wind energy not generate any waste, wind power is also more cost efficient than solar power. According to Detronics.net, a source my classmate previously quoted, he stated that each kilowatt of power produced through solar energy costs, on average, $10.68 over a one-year time scale. What he didn't mention earlier was that this same site quotes wind power costing only $7.35 a kilowatt. This is a 31% savings you'd be collecting annually. Not only does it cost more to install a solar panel to your house, solar power also produces less energy. Fluctuations in temperature, wind, and sun can cause both wind turbines and solar panels to produce less than what their capacity is. Two Carnegie Mellon electricity industry researchers tested separate wind and solar facilities over a two-year period. On average, they found that solar panels produced about 19% of what they were capable of producing, whereas wind farms, on average, uh, varied anywhere from 32 to 40% consistently. Wind power has a more prominent future than solar power as well. According to NASA, wind can provide 10 to 15 percent of the world's energy needs in the future if offshore wind farms were built in ocean areas. To put this in perspective, currently solar, wind, and ocean energy only account for 0.8 percent of the world's energy usage today. Solar panels produce more waste than wind, they cost more to install, and they generate more, less power overall. It is for these reasons I believe wind power is more efficient than solar power. Thank you. All right, you label the advocates' points pretty clearly. Uh, you are basically presenting counterclaims. Your counterclaims, you're trying to apply them to the advocates' points, and I thought you did a pretty good job doing that. 
Uh, the impact on pollution on the first point is uh, clearly cited. Uh, the analysis of the advocates data is not particularly thorough, but the counter data that you present on the uh, risks from uh, the uh, production of the solar panels I thought was uh, pretty effective and very convincing. One of the things that you might want to do is contrast it with the adv advocates claims about uh, the cleanliness of the uh, power as a way of measuring uh, the two things. So give us a little bit more contrast on that. I thought you were much more successful in doing the contrast on uh, the uh, power generation. You had a very good statistic on uh, the efficiency levels at which they operate. I can think of a couple of other issues that might apply to this argument, at, for, in, for example, how widespread the use of them could be. So, for instance, even though solar panels might only be 19 percent efficient, as you were talking about in producing the amount of energy that is potentially there, since they're available in a much broader area, for instance, it might not be such a big deal. But the comparison that you made I thought was pretty reasonable. Um, the example of uh, offshore wind to energy wind generating stations I think is an interesting counterclaim also. Again, I just don't think there's much analysis of the advocate's argument, but you did have counterclaims that you're trying to apply to the claims being presented by the advocate here. So it's okay. 